An oil drop of mass 2.6 times 10 to 15 kg and a charge negative 4.8 times 10 negative 9 is inside a vacuum between two plates. Vacuum means no air resistance. Huh? The plates have separation of 2 cm and a potential difference 1200 volt from 1200 drop down to zero. Which statement describes the motion of the oil drop? You know, if you want to describe, you want to talk about motion, uh, you need to know the forces acting on the oil drop. And they didn't really give us information, so we have to calculate our own. So what's happening is, this oil drop, whenever it's an oil drop, uh, it's heavy. There's going to be some kind of weight acting on this. But at the same time, there will also be some kind of electric force acting on the oil drop also. Maybe it's balanced, maybe it's not. I don't know, I just draw on here. Uh. Electric force, calculate usually by QE. So let's calculate all these forces. Let's do weight first. Weight equals to mg. They gave us the mass here. So we're going to write that in. 2.6 times 10 negative 15 times 9.81. Which will give us a 2.55 times 10 negative 14. Ayo, this is so small. My goodness. Okay, um, let's continue on and find the uh, electric force, right? That's what we we're doing, electric force. So this electric force, I think I'm going to choose this color, lah, reddish. This is QE. We have the Q, the charge, but we don't know the electric field. However, we do know E equals to V over D, the potential difference over the separation distance between both plates. And that's how we calculate the electric field. So I think we can do that here. This will give us negative 4.8 times 10, negative 19. V, oh, 1,200, okay. D, what's the separation distance? 2 cm. So centimeter must put the negative 2. This will give a value of negative 2.88 times 10, negative 14. It's time to do some comparison between both of these forces. It looks like it will not be stationary because stationary means, uh, if, if you're stationary, it means you are at equilibrium. But in our case, the weight is not the same as our electric force. See, the electric force is so big. Mm, cannot, cannot. 2.8 is, is bigger than 2.5. So cannot, not stationary. So we need to find the acceleration. But before that, which force do you think will win? Which one is bigger? The 2.8 or the 2.5? I think 2.8 is bigger, lah, bigger by a bit. So we could draw this arrow to be a slightly bigger. So that means you have a net force pointing upwards which means the oil drop will start to accelerate upwards due to this Fe. Uh, so we can kind of cancel out B as well because downwards is not correct. So let's do a calculation. Newton's second law. Net force equals Ma. Who are the forces acting on this? Fe and Q. Okay, so let's, well, we're going to choose directions. I think since we're going to go upwards, we're going to choose up as positive, down as negative. So you have an upwards electric force plus a downwards weight that will equal to your acceleration. So Fe, we will have 2.88 times 10, negative 14. Okay, the negative sign you can ignore la, of Fe because this one is just coming from the charge and it just tells you that this sign that F and E is in opposite directions. That's, that's just what it tells you. Oh, your E is pointing downwards electric field. Your F point up. Okay, so don't worry about that positive negative sign. Minus weight. So we have 2.55 times 10 negative 14 equals to Mass, 2.6 times 10, negative 15, times acceleration. Okay, what is the acceleration? I got, I got 1.269 1. 
meters per second. That's not bad. I mean, there's some reasonable acceleration there. So if we round it off to 2SF, you get 1.3, where C would be your best answer in this case. Okay, so that's, that's all for this question. I'll see you in the next one.